you, you put something on a story about it because I guess the trial sort of finished and you got a four year ban. So oh, I put wow. that on my story and he saw it. Oh, cool. He saw my Instagram story. Yeah, that's cool. I, I had the same thing. I, I did a cover, but this is the thing. I always wonder if it's actually the person or like a member of their team. Cause I did a little, I say yeah. cover. I was just singing along to KSI's new track with, um, it has a like Craig David in it. And, um, <laughs> like apparently Craig David saw it in, I think it was on the Instagram story. Yeah. He, he saw it and I was like, yeah, but that could just be his team. Like who knows? And I, I don't know about you, but I get this a lot. Every time I post a story, um, I'd say 60% of the time I see someone with like a blue check mark, like they'll like a verified be, tick. Yeah. Verified tick. Like they're just random people. Um, some of them are like very like successful musicians. I've never heard of them, but they're like, I don't know, big in Russia or big in America. I think, or it's, something. I think it's your hashtags because like if, if you're like doing hashtag music and then people are looking into that, they see some of okay. your posts, they check your story. It kind of just goes from there, I assume. But I don't understand like the point of why those accounts are seeing it though. Do you know what I mean? Because it would be one thing if like it was run by their PR team, they see my story and then like they follow me afterwards and then it's just the standard, you know, big account following you, like, you know, trying to increase interest, like, you know, millions of accounts do that. But when they just view your story, like for instance, there's, there's one that I keep getting this person, something Solange. She's like a, uh, a singer, in i don't know russia or america or i think she's it doesn't matter anyway she's got like a massive following and she she regularly looks at my stuff and it's like i don't send actually her a message i did i just sent a message saying hello i was just curious to see if if it's actually the person or if it's just the pr team because i'm genuinely back not yet no but this is what i'm thinking i'm thinking it's just a pr team and i have a feeling i have a feeling that there's like that celebrities have access to their Instagram accounts. But again, like at the same time, there's also like, for example, Jeremy Clarkson is very obvious that he has access to his account. Yeah, he posts yeah, yeah. randomly and the captions just shout Jeremy. But, but, th but this is the thing though, you say that, but sometimes they employ a team to sound like that person which is sounds it's like really depressing but it's true that it might actually be someone managing his account tweeting in the style of him yeah I, I suppose that could be true as well but i still think it's i think it's a mix of the actual person themselves yeah. and the pr because yeah, 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 yeah. if it's if it's a moto gp rider obviously they want to they want to promote moto gp so there'll be posts that they have to put up but then there's ones that the celebrities can put up to their mm. own will because i mean yeah.